Hello and welcome in our demonstration of TestWell CTC++ Test Coverage Analyzer for VeriFastSoft. TestWell CTC++ Test Coverage Analyzer for C and C++ is a powerful and easy to use cost test coverage tool, which shows the parts of the code which has been executed and then tested. TestWell CTC++ can be used on host as well as for measuring code coverage in embedded targets and microcontrollers. Its main benefits are very low instrumentation overhead, it performs code coverage in all targets, it works even with smaller targets and microcontrollers, and finally it works with all compilers and cross-compilers. We will see how an executable code can be instrumented for analyzing test coverage. Our example is called Prime and we will build it for Windows PC using Microsoft Visual Studio IDE. Prime is a simple program consisting of source files prime.c, calc.c, and io.c, and the related .h files. This program prompts for numbers and tells whether they are prime or not. We stop execution by entering zero for input. Instead of using a make file like we did in the previous webcast for building the program, We'll use the IDE integration provided for Visual Studio IDE for Microsoft by TestWell and VerifySoft. This integration offers two dedicated menus. The first one for setting CTC++ on or off, and to select the coverage instrumentation we'd like to achieve. The other menu will help to view the report that CTC++ will make. This way, we can issue all commands within the IDE on top of classical building debugging features that Visual Studio offers. We are also able to use TestWell CTC++ without exiting the design environment. In case you use a different IDE for your embedded target, please check available kits or ask us to develop a new one. We'll do this for you with great pleasure. In order to build our demo, We'll take existing source code files out of our standard example prime, delivered with a make file to be used at the command line level. We don't need it here, as Visual Studio will build the project for us automatically. First, once Visual Studio has been launched, we create a brand new project, add Win32 console application, name it prime, IDE. Then, and this is key, please ensure the precompile header checkbox is off. Then click finish. Then we get rid of template files and load our files instead by dragging them into the IDE. .c and .h files are stored in the right place according to their types. Press F5. Here we are. Now we can check that prime.exe runs as expected. We enter just a few values for the moment. As it seems OK, now we'll turn CTC++ on and select the multi-condition coverage instrumentation. So now Visual Studio is able to run with CTC++. Now we have to rebuild our project in order to uh, take into account the instrumentation provided by CTC++. and clean the previous build. Press F5 again. Enter some values for getting some prime and non-prime numbers. For instance, 1, 23, 666, 104, 
3, and finally 0. Now launch CTC++ report in HTML, that's OK. We are done. OK, this is the end of our presentation and demonstration. Uh, thank you for attending. And if you want to have more details, please visit our website, uh, verifysurf.com. You will see all uh, information about our, our products. Goodbye and thank you.